हेलो वेलकम टू गुरु सॉल्व दिस वेरी नाइस क्यूबिक इक्वेशन एक्स टाइम्स एक्स टाइम्स एक्स प्लस एक्स इज इक्वल टू टेन वी नीड टू फाइंड ऑल पॉसिबल वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स वी विल सॉल्व इट बाय टू मेथड्स सो स्टार्ट विद मेथड वन दिस एक्स टाइम्स एक्स टाइम्स एक्स विल बिकम एक्स क्यूब प्लस दिस एक्स and we move this 10 to the left side this becomes negative 10 is equal to 0 x x cubed plus x we split this negative 10 as we split this negative 10 as negative 8 minus 2 we split this negative 10 as negative 8 minus 2 is equal to 0 Now we write this negative eight with this x cube because eight is equal to two cubed, and we write this negative two with this plus x. Then this equation will become x cubed minus eight plus x minus two is equal to zero. Next, x cubed minus This eight can be written as two cubed plus x minus two is equal to zero. Now, by using this algebraic identity, a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. This x cubed minus two cubed will become x minus 2 times x squared plus 2 times x plus 2 squared means 4 from these two terms plus x minus 2 we can factor out plus 1 plus 1 as a common factor and in bracket left x minus 2 is equal to 0 Now, as you can see, this expression x minus two, this expression x minus two is a common factor. So we factor out this x minus two, and in bracket left, in bracket left, this x squared plus two x plus four, and this plus one. In bracket left, x squared plus two times x plus four plus one is equal to zero. Next. X minus two times x squared plus two times x. This four plus one becomes plus five is equal to zero. From here, either this expression x minus two is equal to zero, or this expression x squared plus two times x plus five is equal to zero. And from this equation. x is equal to 2 this is the first value of x this is the first solution to find the other two solutions we solve this quadratic equation this is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula in this equation a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 and c is equal to 5 and according to quadratic formula x is equal to negative Value of b two plus or minus square root of. In place of b squared, we write two squared minus four times value of a one times value of c five divided by two times value of a one. Next, x is equal to negative two plus or minus. Square root of this two squared is four. Negative four times one times five, negative twenty, divided by two times one, two. X x is equal to negative two plus or minus square root of four minus twenty is negative sixteen, divided by two. 
and x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus this uh, square root of uh, negative 16 can be written as uh, square root of 16 times square root of negative 1 divided by 2 x x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4 and this uh, square root of negative 1 square root of negative 1 is equal to imaginary number i so we replace this uh, square root of negative 1 with i divided by 2 x is equal to from these two terms uh, we can factor out 2 2 as a common factor and in bracket left negative 1 plus or minus 2 times i divided by 2. Now, these two will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get uh, two values of x. x2 is equal to negative 1 plus 2 times i and x3 is equal to negative 1 minus 2 times i. And first we find the value of x1 is equal to 2. So, we have three solutions of this equation x1 is equal to 2, x2 is equal to negative 1 plus 2i and x3 is equal to negative 1 minus 2i. Now, let us solve this equation by method 2. We use method 2 to solve this cubic equation. This uh, x times x times x is equal to x cubed plus this x and move uh, this 10 to the left side it becomes negative 10 is equal to 0. Now, factors of this 10, factors of this 10 are 1, 10 and 2 times 5. In these four numbers are factors of this 10. In these can be either positive or negative. Plus or minus 2. This can also be either negative or positive. So, we plug in these four numbers one by one in this equation. See that is this a solution or not. First, we try this number 1. We try positive 1. So, this equation becomes 1 cubed plus in place of this x we write 1 minus 10 and see that is it equal to or not equal to 0. Now, 1 cubed is 1 plus this one minus 10 is it equal to 0. Now, this one plus this one 2 and 2 minus 10 negative 8 that is not equal to 0. It means uh, 1 is not a solution. Now, we try another factor of 10. Let us say, now we try this 2. We try positive 2. So, in place of uh, this x, we write 2 cube plus uh, in place of this x, we write 2 minus 10 is equal to 0. Now, 2 cubed is 8 plus 2 minus 10 is it equal to 0 and 8 plus 2 10 10 minus 10 0 is equal to 0 means uh, x is equal to 2 is a solution. So, we know that uh, x is equal to 2 is a solution. So, x minus 2 must be a factor of this expression. Now, we have to find the other factor of this expression. To find the second expression, we rewrite this equation as x cubed plus 0 x squared because uh, we have no term with x squared in this expression plus uh, x minus 10 is equal to 0. 
Now we write the coefficients of this expression. Coefficient of this x cubed is 1. So we write here 1. And coefficient of this x squared is 0. We write here 0. And coefficient of this x is 1. We write here 1. In the last, we write this constant negative 10. Negative 10. We use synthetic division to find the other factor of this polynomial. Since we know that x is equal to 2 is a solution, so we write here 2. We bring down this one as it is, and we multiply this one by this 2. One time this 2 is 2. We write here 2 and we add these two numbers. 0 plus 2 is 2. Again we multiply this 2 by this 2, we get 4. And we write here 4. And we add these two numbers, 1 plus 4, 5. Now we multiply this 5 by this 2. 5 times 2, we get 10. We write here 10. And we add these two numbers, negative 10 plus 10 is equal to 0. Now because here we have a third degree expression. And 1 power we have already written here. So this expression here, must be a second degree or quadratic expression. So, we make a quadratic expression from these three numbers. For this one, we write 1x squared plus we write this 2x plus we write this 5. So, here we get the expression x squared plus 2 times x plus 5 is equal to 0. Now, from these two expressions, we can find the solutions of this equation. We already found that first value of x is equal to 2. So, this is the first solution. And to find the other two solutions, we solve this second degree equation or quadratic equation. This is x squared plus 2 times x plus 5 is equal to 0. In previous method, we have already solved this equation and get the solutions. x2 is equal to negative 1 plus 2i and x3 is equal to negative 1 minus 2i. By solving this equation, we get the two solutions x2 is equal to negative 1 plus 2i and x3 is equal to negative 1 minus 2i. So, from this method, we get the same solutions as we get by using method 1.